in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this graphic that you see here. So I'll start out by going to a blank page. First thing I actually did was I went to Layout and Page Setup. And since I want 600 by 600 pixels, you can set your page size to what you want before you start. Now this is already that size, so let me go to a blank page. Then I'm going to select to draw a circle. <clears throat> So maybe go back, you might notice we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, um, you know, slices here. So I'm going to draw six circles. So I've got my circle selected. I go to the middle of the page. I hit Control and Shift down, and it will draw it nicely from the middle. And yeah, that's good. Here's my circle. Now I'm going to change to my pointer and I'm going to do control C to copy it. And then I'm going to copy it uh, five times. Then I'll have six. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I've got five of them. So next thing I'm going to draw a line right through the middle. But maybe what might be smart is to put a guide right on that spot. Uh, maybe not necessary, but just for fun. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line. So I click, let me see, uh, no, no, sorry, there we go, I click above it, and I go down, and I click there, but now I have a possible problem, and that is if I click on this thing, uh, maybe I should identify exactly where the midpoint is, and there's my midpoint. So when I zoom in a little bit, and I click on the line, I noticed it's slightly off. And I'm going to do control down arrow. Yeah, okay, I'm going to call that good. So that line is selected. Now I want to 180 degrees divided into three. So it's 60, 60, 60 will give you three. I'm doing quick math here. I've already got 60 selected here. And I'm going to make a new copy by saying one copy. Of that one, so I say one, two, and there we go. So I've got my perfect slice. Now, you know I've got six things down here, so I'm going to click on the first one. Then, um, where is its midpoint? There. So I'll drag it this way, and um, I actually forgot to do something. I should give it color. Okay, okay, so now I see what I've got. Um, I want to drag it then all the way around to I get to this side. Now, interesting, just if I click there and I have it on the inside, then I see the full color I've got on the outside. I see just the line. So if you ever see that happen, just say, okay, just go to the inside, then you get the full color. Now I'm going to click on the next one and I'm going to give it a different color. So let's go purpley um, and say, okay, drag it around. Now I want to be on the inside, not on the outside. That'll leave me with just a line and snap to that one. Then I click on the next circle because I know there's six of them. And I'll grab the next color and say, okay, let's go play ball and get efficient at this. Good. Grab the next one, give it a color. Let's do, what shall we do next? I'm now scrolling to see more colors. Let's go for a reddish color. Great. And there you go. Next one, we're in business, we're in business. So should I go with something similar? Yeah, no, why not? No, I don't like that. I'll go with something a little, okay. And do that one, and then the last one, click, is, um, I'll go with something dull. Now, um, I have to remind you that this, I'm not sure if it goes all the way around to there. Let me see if it does. Yeah, it does. I don't want that to happen. I want it to go just from there to there. Inside. There we go. So now now this one is just this. And there I can see it click. If I click on this one, I'm sus suspecting it actually goes all the way around. So I need to make sure I don't do that. This one, uh, same problem there. I need to make sure it only gives me the piece of the pie that I need. This one needs to be only this. And this one needs to be only this, and I know the last one should be good. Yeah, okay, now I'm happy with this. So, taking a look at what we've got, so all I need to do is move them and we're good. 
So I'll grab, I'll change back to my gears there, grab it, and then I'll move. So I do my up arrow, and then I can hit my either the shift or control keys to move it faster or slower. So the control is slower. So I'll move just one up normally, and then do control key to the left. Okay, and then one up and control key to the right. One up, control key to the right. And I'll do the same at the bottom. One down and control key to the left. One down and control key to the right. And then with this one, I should just do straight out and this one straight left. Done! So this is how you do it. Now, obviously, to save as an SVG, very straightforward. You save it as an SVG. So um, export. And you look for that brilliant SVG and give it the right name and save it and you're done. Thank you for watching.